Okay, so the last tutorial I did with the quick wiggle effect uh, turned out to not be so great because it ended up taking 10 minutes and uh, the audio was only on the left side. So I decided to revisit this and do it a little quicker. Um, that way we could all, you know, move forward with our lives with a quick wiggle effect in our pocket. So let's take a look at what we're going to be doing. All right, so we got a foot that comes in. As it comes down and hits the uh, shelf, we are going to add a quick wiggle. And then once again, when it comes down again. So now let's take a look at how this is created. All right, so let's go to our clip, drag it down, create a new composition. And so there it is, composition has been created. Now we're going to go over here to effects and presets, type in slider, slider controls, drag that on down to shoe shelf one dot mov, and there we go. So now it is in our effects controls section. Back on shoe shelf, press P to bring up position, alt click or option click on the stopwatch. That'll bring up the expressions panel. And in expressions, we want to type in wiggle open parentheses, and this first number is how many times per second it is going to be wiggling. And so let's put in 20. And then the second number, you can type in 20 here if you'd like as well. It's gonna move 20 pixels 20 times per second. And so that is what that means. And see, now we can, we can see it moving and wiggling there, but we don't really want it to wiggle just just for the heck of it. So let's uh, go ahead and take out that second 20. And with the pick whip, move on up to the slider. So we're dragging that pick whip up to the slider to connect those. And so now you can see that it's got wiggle 20, 20 times per second. And then how many pixels is it moving? However many we tell it to. So that's awesome. So now we'll bump slider up to 20 and we see kind of the same thing that we had uh, just a second ago. So now it's wiggling 20 pixels um, 20 times per second, but we want to make it a little more uh, controllable. So I will go ahead and forward to where I want the wiggle to start. And if we go ahead and click the stopwatch on the slider, it's at zero right now, so make sure right before you want it to start, you turn on the slider and put a keyframe for zero. And so right, well, okay, so right there is, uh, and another thing you can do to bring it up in the timeline down here is click on your clip and then hit U, and it's gonna bring up anything that has keyframes in it. So I'm actually gonna add one more keyframe right there and go forward one more frame and I'm doing that by hitting command and arrow forward or control and arrow forward depending on if you're on a Mac or PC. So now I am at the point where I want my wiggle to start. So up here in our slider control, I'm gonna type in 50. And so now it's gonna wiggle 50 seconds or 50 pixels, uh, 50 times, 20 times per second because we have actually told it to do so down here. And so then we'll, we'll fade it out right about here. Uh, and to do that, I just went forward a, a few frames and go up to my slider control, type in zero. So now everything after that is nice and solid again. But we have that effect in there now and it slows down. So what it looks like, it comes down, camera wiggles. And so that's basically what we wanted to do. Now one thing you may see right here is uh, this little transparency, and that's the background. When it, if you would export it like this right now, it would show up as black. So that's not too awful, but what you can do is click on your clip, hit S, and scale it up a little bit. This is an HD clip, so it's not gonna really do anything too horrible if we scale it up. Um, it's not gonna cut things off and nobody wants their foot cut off. So uh, it's still in the middle of the screen. And now uh, as we scrub through, 
we can't see any more transparency, so that's awesome. So I'll hit U again to bring up the keyframes. We'll go past this keyframe, and right there as the shoe comes down. Okay, so right about there. And we need one more keyframe at zero. And then we'll go forward one. Go up here to slider control. Let's turn it up to 100 this time and see what happens. I'll go forward a little bit more and take down the zero. So now it's got a lot more wiggle. And right there, right there, you can see the transparency comes back in. So we may want to bring that down just a hair. Uh, so forward to right there where it starts to wiggle. And we'll bring that down to 75. And so now, oh, there's still, still a little, little snippet there. Um, okay, so switch 75, and we'll just take it to 50 like the other one. And now that's okay. All right, so go ahead and do RAM preview. One thing you can do to help speed up the RAM preview is actually shorten your clip, and you can do that by uh, moving to where you want the clip to end, and hitting N on your keyboard. N as in number, or nine, or which is also a number. Anyway, uh, you can go ahead and test out your RAM preview. So foot comes in, stomps, and we get a little earthquake going on. Got some purple socked Godzilla feet in there. So yeah, that's a, a basic overview of how you can use the slider control for the wiggle effect. And you can apply that to cameras, you can apply that to null objects, or pretty much whatever you want. Um, obviously using it for a foot shot isn't really going to do much for you, but it can work uh, with titles and pretty much anything you put in After Effects. So this can be a really versatile tool as you move forward with your project. So hopefully you learned a little bit today and uh, hopefully this is actually better quality and is coming through on both channels instead of just the left channel. So until next time, see ya!